How long is it taking for green cars to be approved on a family-based immigration status? That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video, so you wanna stay tuned. And let's look at what the different processing times are. My name is Koshik Ranchot, immigration attorney. I've been practicing for over 20 years and we're representing clients throughout the United States. You'll wanna stay tuned because we're gonna be talking about what the latest is on the processing time. So let's get to it. We're gonna be talking about processing times for the different family-based preference categories. So first of all, let's talk about how long it's taking for spouses for a green card application. What I've been noticing, and this is specific based upon where you live, and you can figure this out for yourself if you go to the USCIS.gov website, put in 485 as the application and choose the location of where you'd have your interview. For Sacramento, for instance, the processing times have gone up. It was taking about two years to get a green card. Now that time, this is based off of marriage or based off of filing for a parent or based off of filing for a, a child where you are considered an immediate relative. That means you don't have to wait in line. You don't have to worry about the preference categories as set forth in the visa bulletin and worry about the dates set forth in the visa bulletin. So here you just have to wait for the application processing times. But here the processing times have gone up. It's gone from about two years to two and a half years approximately. So it's gone to 31 and a half months in Sacramento. So these processing times are increasing even though COVID is subsiding which is interesting. I think that there's still the repercussions that there's just not enough staff. They haven't been able to hire enough people to be able to process these applications fast enough. Let's look at what the processing times are in San Francisco to give you an idea of what is going on there. In San Francisco, they're two and a half months faster and it's taking about 29 months. So what the trend is for these applications, for instance, married to a US citizen, or you're in the immediate relative category is that the timing has been going up. USCIS is hiring, so I expect the timing to come down. I'm surprised that this timing has gone up because if you hire more staff, you think it should be coming down unless they've rearranged their priorities. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in 2023. Now let's look at the other categories besides immediate relatives. If you're a lawful permanent resident filing for a spouse or child under 21, and we're gonna look at the different service centers, in California, it's taking about 22 and a half months for those petitions to be approved. In Nebraska, it's taking about 10 and a half months. In the Potomac Center, it's taking about 29 months. In Texas, it's taking about 20 months. Vermont, 30 months. So this is where you're a lawful permanent resident filing for your spouse. Now, it's important to note that with these preference categories that I'm gonna be going through, there's two issues here, and people often miss this issue, is that one, there's the processing times that USCIS has, and then there's also the visa bulletin time. So I'm gonna talk about the visa bulletin times at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that so you can get a read on that, because if the priority date is not current with the visa bulletin, then you're not able to actually go on to the next step. And some of these processing times reflect that because there may be a long period of time for USAIS to process the petition, but it doesn't matter because the priority date may not be current for that preference category. For instance, when we get to the preference category for filing for a brother or sister, you'll see that. If you're a US citizen filing for a spouse, parent, or child under 21, in California, it's taking 10 and a half months. Nebraska, 10 and a half months. The Potomac Center is taking 12 months. The Texas Service Center, 11 and a half months. And in Vermont, 16 months. So you'll see it's either close to a year, a little bit over a year. Now let's look at US citizens filing for an unmarried son or daughter, 21 or older. In California, it's taking 69 months. Nebraska is taking eight months. The Potomac Service Center, 29 months. The Texas Service Center, 32 months. The Vermont Service Center, 59 and a half months. What about a lawful permanent resident filing for an unmarried son or daughter, 21 or over? California is taking about 64 and a half months. Nebraska is taking 52 and a half months. The Potomac Service Center is taking 29 months. The Texas Service Center is taking 32 months. 
and the Vermont Service Center is taking 55 and a half months. For US citizens filing for a married son or daughter, the California Service Center is taking 117 months, the Nebraska Service Center is taking 104 months, the Potomac Service Center is taking 29 months, the Texas Service Center is taking 32 months, and the Vermont Center is taking 59 and a half months. And now for the longest processing times, US citizens filing for a brother or sister. The California Service Center is taking 140.5 months. The Nebraska Center is taking 124.5 months. The Potomac Service Center is taking 29 months. So you'll see a big discrepancy here in service centers. The Texas Service Center is taking 32 months and the Vermont Center is closing in at 99 months. Now what's also interesting here is to look at the visa bulletin and the different preference categories and to see where they're at in the timeline as well. Family-based First preference category, all countries except the ones that are gonna be listed are being processed from August 2016. China is also August 2016. India is August 2016. Mexico is 2002. So that's almost 20 years. The Philippines is April 2015. Now what's interesting to know is the F2A category is all current. The chart that I'm using from the visa bulletin is the dates for filing chart. That's what USCIS has indicated as the chart to use for December 2022. The F2B category is all countries are processing January 2017, China January 2017, India's 2017 of January, Mexico again far behind with January 2002 and the Philippines October 2013. The F3 category all countries except for the ones that we're going to go through are currently being processed with November 2009, China to November 2009, India November 2009. China and India are both neck and neck which is the same as all of the other countries. Mexico 2001 and the Philippines 2003. Now F4, the brother and sister category, these times are horrendous. All countries are December 2007, China 2007, India February 2006, Mexico April 2001, and the Philippines April 2004. I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this video serves you. hope it gives you an update on the processing times. We are hoping processing times will come down, although that hasn't been the trend recently and we will continue to keep you informed so continue to subscribe so you can get the latest by watching this video you're bettering yourself by bettering yourself you're bettering your family and by bettering your family you're bettering the world bye for now